You just sat down behind Able to Live. You're about to record your masterpiece. And I mean, this is the finest of the finest songs you've ever written. This is the one that's finally going to seal the deal. You'll be able to, to, to live on the beach, sipping mimosas every single day, living the dream. You record it, you press play, you hear nothing. The dream is squashed. Or maybe you're, you're, you're with your band. You finally hit it big. You're at your showcase. This is the moment where everything changes. Mom, I'm moving out of the basement. I'm, I'm quitting Kmart. We're really going to make it, Mom. I press play, you hear nothing. In this video, I want to talk about 10 possible reasons. That's a lot of fingers. That's a lot of reasons as to why you may not hear audio in Ableton Live. Whether you're recording audio, recording MIDI, or even playing back audio live on stage, here's 10 possible reasons that you may not be hearing audio. So let's dive in. Very first thing, I just recorded some beautiful jazz flute. Uh, it was a beautiful part, beautiful uh, playing. I press play and I hear absolutely nothing. The first reason you may not hear audio in Ableton Live is because of monitor modes. Here's what monitor modes are. If you go to any audio track or MIDI track in Ableton Live, you'll see this section here that says monitor. Uh, this is part of the in out section. If you don't see this, then go over to the right side of the screen and click your IO button. And I'm in session view is where I'm looking at this. So we see monitor, we see in, auto, and off. Now, if you just recorded, it's very possible that you set your monitor to in, which allows you to only monitor the incoming signal. This is beneficial if you're on stage playing, say, a keyboard part, and you always want to be able to hear that part no matter what. Uh, setting your monitor to in is going to allow you to monitor your incoming signal. That's great, but it's not great when you just recorded a part and you need to hear it back. In that case, if you set monitor to auto, monitor uh, in auto mode is going to function in two different ways. One, when you're recording. So if I record and enable a track here and I'm recording, I'm going to hear my input. And then if I disable recording or I stop playback and I just press play, then I hear my beautiful jazz flute part that I just recorded. Now you also have a monitor mode, which is off, which allows you to not hear uh, any incoming audio or anything on that track uh, that is useful and helpful for like processing audio and using effects when you're uh, recording your incoming signal and only hear what's being played back. But I suggest most often and more often than not leaving it set to auto. Now, here's another reason why you may not hear audio. Uh, let's say we just recorded a part. We built a beautiful arrangement of our song. We're using our jazz flute uh, and uh, we're, we added a drum part and we're ready to go. So I go over to arrangement view. I'm going to press tab here. I'm in arrangement view. I press play. And two things are happening. One, I hear my beautiful jazz flute recording, but I don't hear my drum part and my audio is also grayed out. If you're trying to play back audio in Ableton Live, particularly on stage with tracks, or it's something you just recorded and recorded into arrangement view, it's very possible you're seeing this. That's all because of this pesky little orange button right here. If you're in session view, it's because of this little pesky orange button here, which is the same button. And this is called back to arrangement. The reason this exists is we have two views in Ableton Live. We have session view, which is this view. We can press tab, go over to arrangement view. And Ableton as a company needed to give us a way to know which view we're listening to at any time. I can switch views while audio is playing uh, by pressing tab, but a I need a way to go, oh, okay, that's where audio is coming from. In general, here's the, the rule that you should memorize really understand, take to heart when working with Ableton Live. If I trigger a scene um, in session view, that's going to default over anything that's in arrangement view. So if you see that orange light turn on, you see your audio tracks go gray here, your audio clips go gray here. That means that you triggered a scene in session view and session view is always going to take precedence over arrangement view. But if you want to get back to that next banger of a hit with your drum loop and your jazz flute, all you have to do is click the back to arrangement button, press play. And you're really quickly, on, I can't even say that with a straight face, it's so ridiculous, but you're really quickly on your way to making your next hit. So check out the back to arrangement button. Uh, always make sure that that's disabled if you can't hear audio in arrangement view. And in general, make sure that when you're working in arrangement view that you're not triggering any scenes in session view. Now let's talk about MIDI. What if you're trying to record something from your MIDI controller uh, and things just are not working and uh, and you're, you're trying to record your next beautiful part, your bass line to add 
to your jazz flute song and things aren't working, what do we do? So first let's talk about a scenario. I'm gonna add a MIDI track here and I'm trying to record with my MIDI controller. If I hit this record button here, the first thing I wanna ask is, do you see MIDI coming in on your channel? So go up here to MIDI from all ends, all channels. And if you don't see MIDI coming in, I do in this case, but if you don't see MIDI coming in, then here's what you're gonna want to do. Click in this all ends drop down here and go to configure. The other way you could get here is if you're on a Mac, do command comma, and we're gonna go to preferences. Then we wanna to go to the link tempo MIDI tab of our preferences. And you wanna find your MIDI controller. You're gonna see all your MIDI inputs and outputs listed here. Now in my case, I have my MIDI controller. Let's see if we can find it here in our input, Studio Logic md You wanna make sure that you enable track on your MIDI controller. So step one, if you go to record MIDI and you don't see MIDI showing up in this section here in the MIDI from section, you don't see anything lighting up there, um, then make sure that uh, you go to preferences to enable that. Now, if you've done that and you still don't hear any MIDI, you can't hear your part, let's keep walking through the process. The next step, if that doesn't work, is maybe you don't have an instrument on your track. So I'm pressing play. We see things uh, uh, triggering here. We see parts coming in. But if we look at this, this is just a MIDI track. There's no instrument loaded into my MIDI track. Now, thankfully, I'm using Ableton Live Suite. I've got a load of instruments. Ableton Live Standard has some really great instruments as well, too. But here's how to access those. So we're going to go to Live's browser the show hide button here. We're going to click this and then I'm going to go to instruments. Um, and I want to find a flute instrument because that's just my, my calling in life is to play real flute and fake flute. So I'm going to go to synth keys here and go to noise of art flute. And I'm going to drop this on my MIDI track. And now all of my dreams have finally come true because I can load a track on and play fake flute as well as real flute. So if you are trying to record, you see MIDI signal coming in, you don't hear anything, make sure you've got an instrument loaded on your track. But let's go back to this scenario. Let's say I see MIDI coming into my track. I have an instrument loaded on. I've got my track selected. It's selected here. I'm recording and nothing's happening. Why in the world is this not happening? Well, remember the very first reason we discussed monitor modes? My monitor mode here is set to auto, but I'm not hearing anything. The reason I'm not hearing anything is because my track right here is not armed. So if I enable arm on my track, now I can record my beautiful, beautiful flute part. Now let's wrap up talking about some things and some scenarios that can happen both to audio as well as MIDI tracks. The number sixth reason why you may not hear your audio or MIDI track is this. I'm recording, I'm pressing play, My I'm getting MIDI coming into this channel here, my monitor is set to auto, it's enabled here, why am I not hearing it? It's because of this, my track is muted. Now in Ableton Live, when you're looking at tracks, when a track is active to where you can hear it, it's gonna be yellow. And depending on your theme, that, that, that color may change, but it's basically going to be lit up. And when it's muted, it's going to be a dark color like that. So if you see MIDI coming in, if you see audio metering, uh, and I mean by this, you see your, your levels here going and you can't hear it, then make sure your track is unmuted. Now, the next scenario you may find yourself in is this. I go to record. Uh, I'm recording my part. Um, I see levels coming up here. Uh, it looks like the, the track is on. I mean, it's, it's lit up. It's not dark. Uh, but my meters are dark. Something doesn't seem right. I look over here and I realize that I have another track soloed. And solo is a great useful utility, particularly when you're creating a track, when you're mixing a track, to really dive deep to, to get a sense of what is this one particular track doing? I want to hear it soloed out. I want to hear it just by itself. But it's a pesky little thing when you're trying to play parts live uh, uh, or you're trying to record something in the studio and can't figure out why something's working. Double check and make sure that you don't have any of your other tracks soloed. So I'll unsolo that, I play, and I'm back to beautiful, wonderful flute. Now, the next possible reason that you don't hear anything uh, you check everything. Everything looks looks great. Like uh, I've got auto set. This is enabled. I'm ready to go. I'm playing. I actually see volume here. Like what in the world is going on? I look and check my track routing. I see that audio two is set to master. I go over to my master track and I realize my master volume is turned down. So I can bring this up and now I can play. 
and we have our beautiful flute once again. Now, the 10th reason that this may not be working is because of issues with track routing or our audio output. So let's again say that we're using, um, uh, let's use our beautiful flute track yet, yet again, and I go to record, and I look and I go, okay, I'm getting MIDI signal. Uh, my track is, is set to auto, it's armed, it's unmuted, nothing solo, and my master volume's turned up. What the heck is happening? I need my flute. Well, I'm gonna check my audio routing here and I see audio two. This is set to go to this track here. So in order to hear this live, and this may be a useful utility to uh, hear my incoming signal here. Well, if I wanna hear it, then I can just set this track to monitor to set it in. But the real reason and the real thing I probably want to do is set this back to master and readjust my routing to go to my master track. Now, it may not just be internal routing. It may be that everything looks great here, but you're not hearing it in your in-ears. It's not coming out of your audio interface. In that case, you want to double check your external routing to your interface, to your headphones. And in that case, if you're on a Mac, you can do command comma. If you're on a PC, you can do control comma to go back to preferences. This time we're gonna go to the audio tab and we wanna go to audio output device and check and see what that's routed to. If you wanted to come out of your headphones, make sure you choose headphones or whatever that's listed there. If you've got an audio interface connected, say like a Play Audio 12 in this case, then you wanna choose your Play Audio 12, whatever your audio interface is, to make sure that it's using the correct output device, make sure your track routing is correct so that you can hear audio. Now, as a bonus 11th possible reason your audio in particular is not working. You try to record, you set up your mic um, and you you try to record and you don't see signal coming into your, to your track at all in Ableton Live uh, and you're on a Mac and it's not working. I wanna share how to fix that problem. It's a, a problem with mic permissions on Ableton Live uh, using a Mac. And I wanna show you in this next video how to disable that. And if you wanna see that video, check the link in the comments. Uh, and you're gonna check out the video completely free. I'll explain how to allow in security preferences and system preferences, allow Ableton Live to use your mic so that you can hear it. So that's a look at 10 reasons why you may not be able to hear your audio in Ableton Live, um, all so that you can live your dream of sipping mimosas on the beach eventually at some point. Uh, quit the job at the Kmart there. Mom, you're making it big. You're going to live it big. If you like this video, like this content, then do me a favor. Hit subscribe below. And you know the drill, you've been on YouTube for a while, hit the bell icon, the notification icon, so that you get notified when we post new content. Here's the really cool thing. I post new videos every single day at 10 a.m. Central. Tips and tricks on using Ableton Live, helping you learn how to record, to use Ableton Live both in the studio and the stage, and helping you learn to run tracks like a pro in Ableton Live. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, make sure to subscribe, um, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one, and we'll see you tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central. Take care, everybody, bye.